So the hips will shoot up and then the rest of the upper body will follow because the quads, the knee extensors. What's up? Can you go ahead with this? Today, we're going to do squat to do the 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 アレクサンが教えてくれていますどんな方法なのでしょうか早速見ていきましょうどうぞ In my last video we spoke about the different variation exercise that I like the most to fix weakness out of the hole coming up from the squat Today we're going to talk about my favorite variation exercise to fix weak quads coming out of the hole where the hips will shoot up first and then the rest of the body will come up. So maybe we can just show the faulty movement here. So the hips will shoot up and then the rest of the upper body will follow because the quads, the knee extensors don't want to take the stress of that load. So in order to fix that weakness, we got to make sure we stress the quads and we stress the knee extensors. So two of my favorite exercises that we're going to go over today, the first one is the good old front squats. So because the bar is more forward on the front squat, it puts the load more forward and works the knee extensors more. Screw your feet out. And up, good. So front squats put more of that load on the quads, the knee extensors. If you add that to your program, your knee extensors, your quads will strengthen. It will have a proper transfer onto your, your regular back squat. My second favorite exercise to fix weakness of the quads coming out of the hole where the hips shoot up first is a high bar squat. So contrary to a, a, a low bar squat, a low bar squat, you place the bar behind the rear delts over here. So not only is a low bar squat lower, but it's actually also further back. So if we turn the camera real quick to the side here, you'll see a high bar squat is placed, the bar is placed on the upper traps. So the bar will be more forward and more aligned with the knees. If you do a, a low bar squat, placing the bar further down, it also brings the bar further back and now it aligns the bar with your hips. So you can hinge more at the hips when you have a low bar squat. High bar squat, to keep the bar path straight, because that's one of the most important things when you look at the squat from the side, then you have to break at the knees first, because if the bar is high up here and you break at the hips, then the bar is just going to throw you forward and it's going to look like a good morning. And your lower back is going to take a lot of that pressure. So we want to make sure the bar path is straight. So if the bar path, uh, if the bar is up here on your upper traps, then you have to break at the knees, putting all the load on your knee extensors, on your quads. Go ahead, mate. So high bar squat right on top of your upper traps, both feet. Okay, real quick, put the bar back, one second. Okay, stagger your feet. When you unrack the bar, both feet together, and then unrack. Take two, three steps back, slow and steady. Screw your feet out, claw the ground with your toes. Intra-abdominal pressure, breathe in right here. Break at the knees first, and up. There we go, and rack. Beautiful. Here's my third favorite exercise to fix weak quads coming out of the hole where the hips shoot up first is the good old safety squat bar. So go ahead, May. Both feet together, stagger your feet. So when you squat with a safety squat bar, the bar has no choice but to be really high up on your traps, putting most of the stress forward, forcing you to break at the knees first. Okay, deep breath, screw your feet out, straight down. And back up. And when you hold the bar here, make sure to engage your lats as well. Torque your elbows in. There we go. Very nice. Good. Last but not least, Another good exercise to fix the issue of your hip shooting up first in the squat and really focus on the quads is the good old leg press. But doing the leg press with a close stance and having your feet low on the platform. If your feet are high up on the platform while you're leg pressing, most of the weight will be on your heel. 
over here. And if you push off your heel, your glutes and posterior chain are gonna take most of the tension, most of the stress of the movement. If you bring your feet down and in on the platform, then your knees are gonna break. You'll have a lot more flexion at the knee, so therefore your knee extensors and quads are gonna work more. And that's what we want for this specific weakness coming out of the hole on the squat. So feet are low, that's it. Feet are parallel as well. Here we go. Okay, pull yourself down. Make sure your hips are in place. Go down slow, keep the weight on your quads. Make sure your hips stay on the bench and come back up. There we go. Down slow, make sure you feel your quads work. Pull yourself down on the bench. Really important, you don't get that tilt in your, in your pelvis. And there we go. So this concludes my favorite variation exercises to fix the issue of weak quads where your hips shoot up first on the squat. さあいかがでしたでしょうか。それぞれ特徴に合わせてこの4種目を行うことで大腿四頭筋をスクワットしながらより強化することができます。またレッグエクステンションなどの単関節動作でなくスクワット動作で行うことでよりスクワットにおいての四頭筋の力発揮を高めることができます。そうすることでより高重量が担げるようになって足全体がでかくなるということですねみんなはスクワットでどこが弱いなど感じたことはありますかコメント欄で教えてください僕は電筋とコアが弱かったので改善している途中です最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます感想や動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしてますではまた I won't think twice when you're a corner. Don't hesitate.